And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Discard Deep. Uh, gonna go ahead and replay this deck. It's been a little bit longer than I thought. We, we played like the Twisted Deep, which was close to it, but um, yeah, I really like this version of Deep. This, this deck is really fun to play. And, uh, you know, we're trying to just turbo out our uh, Deep by, by uh, using card draw and using this discard and card draw with cards like Sump Treasure, Rummage, Zonite Urchin, things like that that also help us go deep besides just um, tossing. As you remember, if you, like last time I played this, I did not play Jettison. But I think it is good to have a couple of Jettison. And so we're going to play two Jettison. And so to fit room for them, uh, I'm taking out one Lure of the Depths and one Sump Dredger from the, the three mana slots. Um, because Jettison's a, it's a high variance card. There's going to be times where it is just amazing um, tossing to get you deep for your Nautilus and things like that. Other times, eh, not so much. You don't really need it. But that's okay with a deck like this where if we don't really need it, we can just discard it and draw a different card with our Rummage and Urchin and, and those kind of cards again. Of course, we got Twisted Fate in here because our deck does have a whole bunch of card draw. And so we have lots of ways to get this Twisted Fate leveled up quickly. And that's kind of like our backup plan besides our sea monsters. Um, going deep with those and casting a bunch of those for basically no mana, especially with the cost reduction from Lure of the Depths and Nautilus. So let's have some fun. Let's play five games over in ranked. Ooh, we are in collection. We need to go to play. Discard deep. Let's go. Here we go. And then we got three donation decks today. All pretty aggressive donation decks. With we're, um, Both Teemo Scouts and Zed's Fate is going to have some elusives doing some damage, and then Frozen Fortune with Misfortune and Ash. Man, Underdog, I'm so sorry to hear that. So sorry to hear that. Um, but, you know, attending a funeral today. Yeah, Cabo has a good thing. Uh, funerals are always a celebration on the good things the person did in their life. I agree. That is, that is good. Celebrate the good times for sure. Uh, we're keeping this turn one urchin at jury rig. I guess I'm gonna mulligan the abyssal eye. We'll keep twisted fates. Okay, got a dredgers. But I'm, I'm definitely going the urchin jury rig turn one. Get three power into play on turn one across two bodies and. That's a great parlay, not only uh, you know taking down that 2-1, but then also getting the level up for both of those cards. That was a great parlay. Uh, not really where we need the 7 drops. Hey, what's up, Potato? Hey, hey, Kordak. Okay, your deck last. No problem. Well, I guess kind of a problem. All right, not a problem anymore. There you go. Um... Dang, two Rummage and a Jettison. Those are not good cards to be tossing. Those are cards that I want to be drawing, not tossing. Yep, not a problem at all. Always up for a round or two. So 
So we're going to be taking a damage from the Powder Monkey. Obviously, we can't stop that. But this, by going red card, basically I want to make it so the Monkey Idol only makes one more Powder Monkey. No more. Heavy pockets, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's true. They're helping with the deep with the nav. That's true. Well, this turn, not so good. Guess we'll have Devour next turn. I don't know, maybe Shipwreck Order the turn after that. Safety will cost you. They got a lot of cards over there. Boys. Your little grifter is just a 4 mana 3 3 draw 2. That card's awesome. It's salvage, but you also get a 3 3 body. Carved from the savage cold. <laughs> So we kept tossing our our discard draw cards. So besides the one besides the one drop that I kept, it had no card draw. Like we tossed two rummages, which is like the card that I want to see more than any other. Okay, a salvage gone as well. Um, Devour the Depths, of course, that's a good one to toss because that can come back. We want to be tossing the sea monsters. Sejuani is almost leveled up. Dead men tell my Yeah, Shipwreck is just a good 7 drop. To them. They had a very good hand. There's another one. Explosives. Hang them by their entrails. All right, 0 and 1. We're going to need to um, <laughs> complain they need to nerf warning shot. Uh, I don't think they need to nerf warning shot, but we need to have a lot more things to kind of do in our middle turns, don't we? We had a very good turn one. Twist of Fate on turn four is good. 
But really, turn two, turn three, we just played a couple of 1-1s. One turn five, I didn't have anything to do. We need to have more things to be doing. This happens when you have a bunch of seven mana cards in your deck. Sometimes you mulligan, you just draw your seven mana cards. Okay, let's see. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. I'm gonna keep this. I like Jaw Hunters with the attack token in it because they are. Um, you know, the. They have a couple of very important cards to get rid of. Um, Puffcat Peddler being the number one card to get rid of, but then also Starless Seer. And Jaw Hunters does a good job of getting rid of both of those cards. Hey, Nakano. Okay, I'm just going to jettison, pass, see if they play Peddler, and if so, I go Jaw Hunters. Well, I'm probably just going Jaw Hunters either way, but we're kind of basically seeing if they want to go Peddler. Oh, you're welcome, Nakano. Like I said, it. I was just, yeah. I just made. I just made it. Yeah, we made the Yasuo deck just on stream. Um, I just started from scratch, actually. All right, that worked. That was big. And we'll just discard this Terror of the Tides with the Urchin. Love seeing another Jaw Hunters. Um Fresh is worth at least twice as much. I don't know, Terra is super super expensive. I'm going to Twisted Fate blue card so that we can have lure the depths. play the lure of the depths right now because I don't really want to draw a sea monster for my turn. I already got lots of sea monsters. So like you know like that shipwreck hoarder could have been my draw step for the turn and I would rather be drawing something else. If <clears throat> you know you can wait on the lure of the depths if you want to draw a sea monster. If you want to draw a sea monster wait till like the next turn before you play it. Carved from the savage cold. Um, obliterate. I just want to get the treasures into my deck as soon as possible, so we have, you know, the opportunity to draw them as soon as possible.
currently four away from deep. So casting salvage would have us go deep. That doesn't reduce the cost of any of these things. I can blue card salvage. That's not that great. Getting a couple of seven fives out here. Another day in the field. I'll pick him, you plan him, kid. I just don't want to discard any of these cards. Maybe I discard Salvage. Salvage can let me go deep, though. That is a lot of puff caps. Do I discard Twisted Fate? No. Next turn, we're going to have eight mana, so we're probably going to play these two. I mean, I could go Salvage plus, like, Abyssal Eye. Alright, we're going to discard Salvage. I have too many good cards to be playing with my mana, even though I'm not deep yet. We have some treasures. Not bad. That is bad. Saying not bad, that one is bad. Played Abyssal Eye. <laughs> we are going to have a lot of buff caps. How am I winning this game? One away from deep. I can only play one card. I have nine mana, these all cost five. I can play one card. So I think since I can only play one card, I think this is the best card to play. Sure. 
Uh, let's see. So, of course, they have the Fury of the North. Probably Fury of the North here. That Fury of the North, that was a 10-12 Sejuani. This would be a good winter. So I like getting rid of a 10-12 Sejuani. We protect these woods as they protect us. No, I don't know what I'm really doing about the 16... The 16, 18. Stay out of my way! Alright, doesn't look like I have anything for the 16, 18. Overwhelm. Just too big. I'm not too worried about the Teemo anymore. Like I wasn't, I wasn't really that worried about the Teemo. It's just the 16, 18. There. Yep. <laughs> no, shroom mushroom decks are definitely are are. Um, we noticed the the last time too. Like the the decks with puff caps are our decks kryptonite, for sure. So we just we try to make our deck library as small as possible. So the puff caps are the the kryptonite. That's why it was so important killing the the peddler earlier. I definitely messed up by playing the twisted fate red card because they had the elix you know they had the elixir of iron to save their teamos and they got to hit me with teamo and give me those other five puff caps. Um, maybe. You know, maybe if I like if I would have played the Abyssal Life first, then we could have blocked Teemo, so we wouldn't have had to worry about that. And maybe without those other five puff caps, maybe we don't take lethal damage at that point. Maybe we you know we just don't know with those those you know how many of those extra five puff caps were, did we draw? Like was that enough to kill us? Yes, Toss does get rid of the puff caps that are on the cards. Yeah. Yeah, Sejuani's a heck of a card. <laughs> yep. Sejuani has been pretty rough both these games, for sure. It's the the best card in Legends of Runeterra, as I've said many times. I don't think that's changed. Thank <laughs> you. 
been playing against a lot of zombie ash recently. Been seeing it quite a bit the last few days. Just zombie decks in general are getting really popular. Dang. Oh, those are gonna trade anyway. Use you know playing that right now, so we use the three mana, so we don't we don't waste one mana. Basically, giving myself a little bit more time with the rummage. Ah, that's pretty fair. That's pretty fair. I want to cast a gotcha on the ash and then devour it, but they have all this mana. So like, how do I, how do I get that to happen? It was right on my tail. So I still have four mana. Yeah. All right, we got one ash obliterated. They should have another ash in hand. Babbling Bjerg should be just drawing ash. I don't think they'll have anything else to draw. But obviously, obliterating is a great against the reanimator deck for sure. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Yeah, my Twitch name here. Um, I had a cat named Hawkeye, who was a big part of my stream. He passed away in January, but um, the name came from my cat Hawkeye and uh, just combining that with me wearing ties a lot and so we have Hawk tie so this, it's just kind of a weird kind of deck. Like, we want to get rid of Ash, but also, at the same time, killing Ash, not too valuable. Kind of weird that both of those are true at the same time. All right, so we got four treasures out of these 23 cards. And, of course, now we can kind of rummage and, and go towards them. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to be more aggressive with attacking all out right here. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. We need to obliterate this ash. So 
So I definitely want to be deep before playing this one. Like I don't want just a Vile Feast to break that up. So we're going to do Fate Blue Card. Don't want to kill Ash. Don't want don't want that champion to die. So I don't want them to be able to continually reanimate it. Fine with me. Could have saved the life by going with the rummage right then, but I wanted to have more information before I rummaged. And also wanted to have Twisted Fate in play before I rummaged. Six away from deep. Okay, let's just untap and do this on my turn. I discarded a, a Nautilus earlier, right? I think I did. Yeah, they're just not going to spend their mana, are they? Alright, well, we're gonna try. Obviously, they can have different things to break this up. It's obviously not good because I was hoping at least they would need vengeance to break it up. Hoping they would at least have to have vengeance. Join the 
Revolution. The time is right. Strike now. All right, so they had the third ash. That's shuffled back into the deck now. I don't... I mean, Nautilus is dead. That's okay. It's fine. We don't have things for that cost reduction right now. Ooh, Rummage is good with the Treasure Trove. So I'll be three things can't block. If only one of these two was the deal, you know, like we have the, we have two treasures in hand, but if only it was a deal five damage, that would have been really nice to get rid of those. Stand together. Swiftly now. I guess because I'm at 8, I'm actually dead. Yeah, I guess I'm actually just dead. I don't know what they're doing. They just attack, I'm dead. Show me a target. Yeah, I'm very dead. I'll lead us to victory. All they had to do was not challenge, and I died, but they challenged. All right, so we're at one. Let's see what we get to play. Hopefully enough units to attack back for lethal on their end. All right, back alley barkeep, what do you make? Flash of brilliance. That could be anything. In a long path to get you. Come on a musical journey. So this is gonna be just a, a two mana or this is just gonna be a two three next turn. Um, which I guess attacks for three. Yeah, I guess we play it. Definitely considering rummaging it. But I think we play it. Meh. So that's still 17. All right, GG's. No, it's not smoky. Yeah, they... They definitely should have won that. And I guess, so yeah, like my Jaw Hunters, it probably would have been better to challenge their challenger, you would think. But honestly, um, uh, yeah, honestly, kind of not challenging their, their challenger helped us win that because their challenger, um, you know, they got too enthralled with killing the 08 and then died. Not sure if I actually want this jettison. 
If I don't want the jettison, we can just uh, discard it and draw a new card. Which I kind of feel like that's what I'm going to do. Sure, my Nautilus would have stayed alive, but we would have died. If like if Nautilus was alive, we we would have died to the hair to that harrowing. Like that was that was what was weird there is that if Nautilus was alive, that means their wolf was dead. So like because all they had to do, you know, like having six blockers doesn't matter with against the three Ash. Uh... I'm gonna pass and hold that two mana for the salvage. Gonna get rid of the sump dredger. Who's on top of the bounty board now, how this is looking, it looks like we're gonna be able to go deep quite quickly with jettisons. Don't stand in my way. Uh, no. So the the Teemo deck got moved to fourth. We're gonna be playing Teemo scouts fourth. Right, Smokey, we we were playing this deck though before he was. So that's why I'm saying it's not a take on his deck. This was from we we played against it from somebody uh, where this deck came from, we played against this deck and the person playing it came in the chat and, and talked about it and said they found it from a Reddit post and so it was from a Reddit post from a while ago. And so that's where I assume that he got, like, that's where I assume he made the deck kind of popular, but. Uh, that was from somebody from a Reddit post. Let's just go red card. We're at 24. This could set up with me, uh, you know, next turn having like double jettison, lure, urchin, all this kind of stuff. I think this is just a fine time to, to red card, to get Twisted Fate in play before we start drawing extra things. Wow. Okay. Something for all of you. So by using it back to back, they can have the tracker challenge Twisted Fate this next turn. We could blow that up with the gotcha. But it may be better just to focus on our game and let the Twisted Fate trade. Probably better to focus on our game. I do wish... This would be 16 with the Jettisons is 8 cards. Or no, it would go to 15. Yeah, never mind, so it would go to 15. I don't know if I want to discard any of these things to the urchin. There's plenty of killing left. Gosh, they have so much so much stuff out. Maybe I do need to just play the urchin. Discarding that gotcha. I would have loved to discard another urchin. Well, 
Why can't we play Nautilus yet? Need to play Nautilus. I'm always up for a round or two. As I'm getting to the point where I can just discard one of these jettisons, we don't need both of them. Yeah, I didn't even need Jettison. So I'm planning on just discarding this other Jettison. The best thing they can do right now is if we find the treasure sea monster. We can get some treasures. I've proved myself to the war mother. You point, I shoot. Hmm. I didn't do nothing. I will not rest. You know, help us dig. Dig for treasures if we find that sea monster. Oh, I shouldn't have blocked. I shouldn't have blocked there. Yeah, that's got to be rally, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, I don't feel like I've been playing these games really well. I really don't think I've been playing these games very well today. It's an off day for me. So far. Yeah, it's still early. Not always going to be perfect. Alright, Big Alfredo, what's that donation deck? Gosh, just really good at answering both of the champions. I guess we gotta keep that. Uh, it's Draven time. Alright, it's Draven time. Okay. Uh, Big Alfredo has a... Henchman meme deck. Cool. Play that on Monday. Draven, I love you. Me too, kiddo. Me too. Thanks, Big Alfredo. any of the options that's good it's a good blocker to play this next turn oh, unfortunately against the aggro deck is not where you want your card draw you know, because like, you just don't have time to just be playing all these card draw spells. And unfortunately, that's what we've been drawing. Alright, we'll get rid of one of those with the urchin.
All right, kill that thing, kill this thing, kill this thing. This thing. Better block like that. This is a better block. So, Devour likely... Okay, maybe not likely. Kills Draven. Jury Rig is really nice. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Yeah, Jury Rig is really nice. Oh no! Ugh. I was thinking Jinx. You know, like they were trying to unload the hand for Jinx. Better than eaten. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. Set the hooks. Augmented Experimenter was awesome. Give him another three cards, too. This one we just have to devout you know, we have to get a two for one. Yeah, they have all three Dravens. I mean the, the Draven's biggest fans helped, right? Like presumably the first two Dravens were found off Draven's biggest fans and then and then this augmented experimenter probably found the other. Ouch. Lethal. You have GG's. Great hand. Great hand. So I don't think I particularly played those games perfectly. I mean, I did. It's not like I played them terribly, but um, wasn't perfect. Jettison, Jettison didn't do anything for us. Um, some treasure would have been kind of nice to have there that last game. I wonder if it should be three some treasures, just have a blocker. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I think this is just kind of a, a bad five games for me. I don't. I don't really have any like main huge takeaways of anything that needs to change. Even though we went one and four, just a small sample of games not going great. Um, I may have like prioritized Twisted Fate a little bit too much in a couple of those games. Of playing out Twisted Fate too early instead of doing other things to affect the board. I don't know. But anyway, that's uh, that's Discard Deep. We're going to go on to our other decks. We got into three pretty aggressive decks that we're going to be playing here um, uh, after this. And uh, yeah, there we go. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hope you still enjoyed this video. Hope you learned stuff. 
um, you know, feel free to leave those comments about anything about like the deck or uh, about the plays or, you know, anything like that. Feel free to leave those comments. Appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Discard Deep, and I'll see you for the next video.